Tampa just receiving nearly $1 million in federal funding. All of it to help pay for a new stormwater pipe that's in South Tampa. Yeah, it's going to run along South Manhattan Avenue. So just about in the Jan Platt area and then all the way north to Beta Bay. It's one of four projects for the city of Tampa. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton explains how it'll improve stormwater and how it flows in the area to reduce flooding. When dark clouds roll over, people in South Tampa prepare for flooding. Uh, the water will accumulate and then it makes its way here either by just the general flow, direction of gravity. Chad McCluskey with Four Corners Custom Framing knows this all too well. A lot of times the water will come right up to, you know, about here. It'll, it'll kind of wave around. So it'll, as cars come by, it'll push waves up. Those waves making their way inside. We had to excavate all the tile throughout. This store has been on the corner of South Manhattan and El Prado Boulevard for 12 years. June 29th. So again, your typical afternoon thunderstorm. He's learned it's like a river. to adapt. We keep everything off the ground. U.S. Representative Kathy Castor says the problem is only getting worse. The infrastructure was not built decades ago to withstand these extreme rain events. It's an issue McCluskey and others in the area can escape. Uh, average rainstorm, there are neighborhoods that are flooding out and residents can't get out of their driveways. And so we are addressing that. We were successful in taking care of uh, Lake Henderson. Uh, now it's on to Lake Vasconia. The city just received nearly $1 million in federal funding for a South Tampa stormwater project. The entire project will be $11 million. From around Vasconia north to Bay to Bay. It consists of a new stormwater pipe that will help drain water from the area faster to the basin. Any money dumped into uh, improving the infrastructure is fantastic. Yeah, especially stormwater. I mean, we're basically living on a, you know, a, a sandbar. Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay. Yeah, that area can be bad during just regular rainfall. The city does hope to start this project later this year, and the goal is to have it done by spring of 2026. Make sure.